Hey guys, Cameron here, aka RC God. Um, today I'm going to be talking about racing with RC cars. So, um, this is going to be my how to race tutorial for RC cars. So, first off, um, pretty much would pick a car that you're going to race with. So, I pretty much bash and race with my Truxxas Bandit here. Um, I don't race yet because I haven't got enough practice in. But pretty much, no one gave me the help. I pretty much needed to, well, besides, like, my dad, he did a bit of research, and so did I, um, about, like, how to race and stuff like that, but I didn't find a good enough video, so hopefully this is the video to explain what couldn't be explained for me. So, first of all, you're going to need an RC car that you're going to want to race with. Um, now this can be a bashing vehicle, just have two different setups for racing and bashing. Um, so pretty much what I would do right away is get some pretty tires that you're not going to use, or bashing tires, or street tires if possible, and just set up a couple of jumps, um, set up a couple of pylons, and just practice going in, make your own track with jumps, and practice, 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 practice. Um, but, and I like to do this before I go to a track, because, um, the first time I was there, I was pretty much battling with one of these guys, we were just, like, messing around, and on accident, I kind of spun him out, and he, like, like, I was just, like, a complete wreck on the track, um, because I didn't know how my car handled and stuff like that, um, so, once you've practiced, um, this is pretty much what you're going to need to go onto the track and um, kind of be a, like, um, how do I put this? So you can make it so you're not just driving around there nice and slow. Um, what I like to get is a brushless motor. And I know this isn't a brushless motor. It is a uh, Titan. Yeah, Titan 12 turn. Um, because my brushless motor broke, I'm going to hopefully get that soldered and be hooked up to this. So, pretty much, yeah, you're going to need a brushless system, if possible. It's not necessary, but it's pretty, pretty, like, helpful. Um, you're going to need, well, it depends if you're running short course truck or ba uh, buggy or steam truck. Just make sure your car's legal in the area, in, like, the rules. Um, here, just give me a sec. Also, what you're going to need are some tires. Racing tires for your surface. Here, let me grab the other ones. I'm sorry about that. You're going to need racing tires. And what I mean by racing tires is, so these are my, the, the tires that came with the Bandit. They are very slippery. They don't, they don't even have traction on the pavement with my brushless system. So get yourself a, pa a pair of these. Um, if you're running on carpet, get carpet tires. If you're running on dirt, get tires dirt tires. See, I've only raced on carpet, so I only have carpet tires. But yeah. Also, next what you're going to need is, sorry, is a very good battery. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Is a battery. No, this company has not asked me to, this is just the one that came with my um, buggy the way the day I got it. So pretty much you're just gonna need let's get this one. You're gonna get this in one. You're just gonna need your typical speed charger. Cause I don't feel like waiting eight hours. Just get a different charger. That can charge in like really, really short times. Um uh, and if possible I find getting a light bulb. Lipo helps a lot. Because it doesn't degrade in performance. This is a 3S, but I don't run 3S. I run nickel metal hydrates at the track because I don't have a 2S light pole, lipo. So yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to need um, for racing. So, if I can give any tips. Try, and when you're on the track and one of the faster guys are coming up, don't try to get out of his way. Because... He will, if he needs to get past you, he will swerve around you. So don't try to dodge him, because if you do, you don't know where he's going. He doesn't know where you're going. So 
he he'll crash into you and maybe you'll break something. Um also bring cash to the track. Well, first of all, so you can buy your way in. But also because you will break stuff. Lots of stuff. Um the first day in the track I broke my I don't know what it's called. I think it's my camper. Whatever. The um, I broke the thing right here. I broke what else did I break? I broke part of my shock. So bring cash, bring cash and extra parts for your car, tools, all that s sorts of stuff. Hmm, what else is there to say? Um, also, if I have to say anything else, is get familiar with your car and the way it handles. Pretty much, so this is pretty much going back to step one. Get familiar with your car, because it will help in the long run, knowing how it reacts and drives. Um, I can't think of anything else that you pretty much need to race, besides... Oh, and if you can, try to go as much as po Like, if you're gonna race race, like, with people, like in a league or something like that, get familiar with the track. So if you're going to a really big race and you want to try to win it, go go the week um, or like the two, day, two days before and just practice, 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 practice on the track and get your line familiar, stuff like that. Start time, ask someone to time you. Like, just get that, just practice, like, two days before the race. So, guys, that's pretty much my How to Race RC Cars guide for you guys. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, I would like to thank all the people who are watching and giving me the support. It really does help a lot, and that's pretty much why I make videos, is for you guys. Um, so, please forget... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Go check out my other video. And also, if you guys like Magic the Gathering, the trading card game, go check out my other channel, MTG God, um, with no space. So, guys, that's my How to Race RC Guide. So, yeah. Hopefully you liked the video, and bye.